All right, friends, I'm here to go in and explore the Stockyard restaurant. You can see that the storm clouds are above, but I'm gonna go in and this thing is all but gonna be tore down, I think, I feel like, because they people have gone in and torn all of the uh, wiring out of this thing. And so we're gonna go in and take a look. Stay tuned, friends. So as you can see, I mentioned it, the storm clouds are, are raging above us. So I'm gonna try to go ahead and get in here before the storm comes. I'm parked right here. And what I'm talking about, about them uh, taking all of the wiring, is I've looked at this thing before. I just haven't gone in uh, inside yet. wiring that goes up to there you can see that all that has been cut loose and pulled loose. Struggling. So I did a little bit of investigation to find out what happened to the restaurant. I didn't know why it had closed. Found that a developer uh, organization out of Charlotte, North Carolina bought the restaurant, bought the building and the acreage which is 3.3 acres for 8.3 million dollars. So if I was the owner of that restaurant, I would close that day that I put $8.3 million in my account and move on uh, to the beach, probably. And the Stockyard was a really uh, high-end restaurant, very expensive. The steaks were, were like $50 a piece, a la carte type stuff. And it was owned by a few famous people. Buddy Killen, which owns, uh, he owned a huge publishing company. He owned the rights to the song Crazy and some other things like that. He owned the restaurant at one time. And the, la the last owner is a guy named Fricks, last name Fricks. Uh, but I'm not sure if he still owned it at the time it was sold. But it was open for 36 years and it is now closed and we're going to explore. And one last thing, I did find that the developers are planning on uh, repurposing the building and building around it. So it will open back up at some point. Don't know if it'll be a restaurant, but it will be something. So now all the fire and rescue go out to rescue all the idiot drivers that can't drive in the rain. about done friends so I'm gonna... down here is a no-go go back up top see what we got happening up here
the ballpark over there. So let's get serious about exploring the stockyard. Let's get with it, as it were. You see what all this caution tape and stuff is about. Because they got that ballpark over there, they're trying to keep people from parking for free. But all those parking lots, those businesses are closed. It ain't hurting anything for them to park right there. But they're trying to force them to pay them to park in those areas or force those areas where you can't park there and you have to pay to park in the areas that they want you to park in. Which is typical. I've always wanted to go. I had no idea that this place would close down. I've always wanted to go eat here because they used to say it was a fantastic place to eat. Never have. Never did. And you see it says close for renovations but of course it's not closed for renovations it's it's closed down period nashville union stockyard look at that roof in that place it's a dome up there If you can look on the outside of the building, it actually says Nashville Union Stockyard Inc. So I don't know. I'm gonna look up the history of this building and see what it says. It does have a historical marker. Yeah. Used to be a live music venue, no more. So I'm trying to sprinkle on me again a little bit. CR stands for. You see more caution tape to try to keep people from parking here. Probably should have took advantage while I had a chance when that door was open down there, but I didn't do it. I did not do it, friends.
Oh, rickety. Scary rickety. Took the wires out of stuff like that. Who does that? Still the seam. The seam shaking. But it does seem old and rickety. Where that look at where that's pulled off of the wall there. Wow. This is scary looking. Okay. Here is an open door. Not expect that door to be open. I'm just glad nobody came in here and tore this place up. Which I don't know why people would do that, but you know how people are. They like to destroy stuff. There's a bunch of bottles of... It's called it. Perrier Jolet Champagne. So this evidently used to be offices. Governor Nemec Warder or something like that. I don't know. What is this? Howard Baker, Senator. sleeping here. mechanism open. Employee bathroom.
this was a functioning restaurant not too long ago. Can't believe all that champagne and stuff is even still here. Curb racing. People have told us they had great steaks, but look at the prices, 46, 69, 59, 49, very expensive. So I would assume, since this place is on the National Registry, they would not probably tear it down, but I wonder what would happen to it. These bottles are full. There's a lot of them. That's the record company Curbs logo. The cellar. This used to be full of wine. They even had them numbered. Humidification system or dehumidification system. steps. Let's keep on exploring friends. Hello, hello. 
Yeah, people have been sleeping here. Is there anybody in here? Hello? Anybody here? Back in the day they were considered top of the top. That says Wayne and Linda Friggs were the owners. I think there was another guy that after that. I heard a story about him that he had some kind of letter from Andrew Jackson in his safe. When he passed, that was stolen, if I remember the story correctly. Yeah, it was Buddy Killen. That was his name. This is some kind of certificate. Buddy Killen. Right there. I can't read it. Something about a maitre d' for a table. The Shane Norote said I don't know what that means, but that was Buddy Killen. Was the guy. You gotta give it to him. This is really old school and beautiful. This is the main floor. As you can see the street out there. I was out there a while ago. Twenty thirteen Americans top America's top ten steakhouse. They were number seven. That's twenty thirteen. This is twenty sixteen. That wasn't that long ago. That's 2002 Grammy Awards viewing party that they got to go to. 2002, that's a pretty cool little piece right there. And this is people that played here in 2015.
I don't really recognize any of them. Oh, I'll see what that is. I said Franklin, that's actually not here. I don't know. These are cool things here. It's different items around Nashville. Nashville Union Stockyards. Some regulations. That was 1925. So this place has been here quite a while. This building. I'm assuming all this is related to this business, to this building. Those are like a uh, stock, and that's what that is. That's a stock certificate. That's a stock certificate, and that is. It's interesting. And it's laminated over. It's like it's either, I think it's in something or behind it. It's laminated over. So let's look back here. The second floor we're actually on the floor on the the main floor and then there's a basement I hear water dripping this looks like a door yeah, there's water in here from the rain. It rained really hard. It's another wine cellar. There's a leak in between the thing and this is a wine cellar and wasn't like a private office. You can see where people broke into these safes. And they got to know there's nothing in them. It worked awfully hard for nothing. You see where they busted the back of the safe out and busted the things off of it. They got in it though. There's a safe box there or cash register. in there. This of course is a bar and there's plenty of uh, grenadine. There's all kinds of liquor and stuff in here still, which is surprising. They were loading up stuff to take and didn't take it. Stockyard Winter Nashville Magazine 1983 Silver Spoon Award. I'm assuming that the silver spoon is missing. They probably thought it was real silver and took it to try to sell it. Not 
lots and lots of keys. Lots of keys. Studio Lounge. This is a big building. That's that door to the ramp back there. It's leaking right there, so they put that to catch the the water, I just heard it drip. It's leaking over there too. Yeah, this building is going to get ruined. Look at that right there. That got wet. You can see this bar in here. And this is famous people at the bar, Kelsey Grammer, that were here. You know, I don't know who that is. I should. I don't know who that is. <laughs> is that Buddy Killing? Maybe. There's, the other pictures are missing that were down here. Livestock buyer king. First American stock ever branch. Caldwell Properties. The grill room. So this is the kitchen. You got it's real at this one. Very moldy in here. I'm sure it's not healthy. This kitchen was kind of dungeon like. At least whoever has come in here, homeless people, mostly I would assume, has not destroyed the place. Now they did take more wire. <laughs> they have stripped the wires out of this place, which is crazy. Not make any sense. wire out of there, a big wire. And they worked hard to get all that wire. You can see where they're sitting here and strutting all the straws. something like that. This goes out back to the fenced area. There's a freezer right there.
back stairway. It says men's room is upstairs. You see the rods laying down. You see where they left food. I work with the bridge ministry across the street. Probably got it from there. saw from outside. Look at that. Letters. That's pretty cool. It's nailed. See that? Or screwed. Hmm. I don't know what that's about. Also because they they covered it over. Kitchen. All right, so we're almost to the what I would consider the crown jewel. And isn't that crazy that they're pulling these curtains down? See, the, you can see where they've literally ripped them. And what is what was that? Are they using it to sleep in? This is the front, so they had. Lobster in there. This is a lobster tank. And you know what the lobster say? Takes a lot. Inspection date. Yeah, June of 2015. That's a little over a year ago. Let's talk about souvenirs. This is the main room. This is where you came and checked in. And they would seat you. Buddy Killen Stockyard. They had sea bass, twin lobster tails, fried lobster tail. And then there's a little room over here. Look, there's a roll around safe. See, the safe is open. There's a roll around safe with wheels on it. I think it was just for show. I don't see any way of locking it. And a bunch of French champagne. And then the Nashville Union Stockyards. 
Um, preferred stock certificates, that's $250,000, that one. This one is 250000 10,000 common stock shares. It says Virgil Bryant, Dawn something. Oh, that's a lot of money. But this is just for show. I think they probably had to take the top off of it and they just made that, made this to work. Because you can see there's supposed to be a latch right there. It's not there. Buddy died, Nashville Union Stockyards, Inc., a few years ago. It was 2000. This is the little pedestal. We're at 901 Second Avenue North. And I like to keep stuff like this for posterity friends. Storm, you see, there's a tree down right over there. You see that guy walking by and it's laying in the middle of the parking lot. It was pretty, pretty stormy. Yes, it was. All right, this is an interesting room right here aging meat. So, this was a refrigerated room. They would have aged beef in them. They'll stay freezing in there. And you can see they put coffee to kill the smell. That's what it looks like from the aging. They would lay the beef up in here. things. I'm going to try to go down one more floor. So this is that outside door that we looked at. actually a good sign. There's critters there, but you can see where they've been up there tearing wires out. If I feel cobwebs, that means nobody's been down here in a long time. There's a critter living in that wall right there. You hear it?
I will assume that this room has not been open in a long, long time. The coach room. There's still sound equipment in here. Have to cut wires and pull the wires out. There's a dimmer packs in his eye for the lights. There was speakers right there, but they're gone. But there's lights in here, still lights. Snake right there. But an audio snake, friends, not a snake snake. There's two more, three more snakes. There's Carver power amps. A bunch of them. There's a, uh, that's a nice board. That is a Soundcraft. Look at all those EQs, tuners, feedback exterminators. Nice sound box. I got some good stuff right there. And they're in here steering the wire, stealing the wire. Of course, they got a way of getting rid of the wire, but not the equipment. If you set that TV right there out on the curb, nobody would stop and pick it up. <laughs> Things have changed. This little room's got a fireplace. It's a lexicon. This must have been a cigar room or something. Because I've got a well, it's a tent thing, I guess. Coat check, maybe. Wine racks. That's full of water. down. Yeah, there's water standing in here. I'm not going to walk through that. There's stuff to wander. And this is where I was trying to get in a while ago. Dishwashing. Well, they work real hard pulling wires. Unbelievable. Security. 
so that's to that staircase. That's basis for tables. Hmm. There you have it, friends. Stockyard. Old abandoned building. Were you scared? I wasn't scared really inside the building. I'm scared to be standing on this thing. This seems big time rickety. You see right there? Not much holding that. I'm holding on to the rail.
did what I set out to do today, friends. Checked out the Stockyard Restaurant, Nashville, Tennessee. Abandoned building. Thank you.